Okay, we're back to this. Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, it's, it's funny that even when you're at dock, if you have no fuel, it still gives you the option of desperate measures. Uh, without fuel, your ship is just an oddly shaped house located somewhere you really don't want to live. Accurate. All right, well, after you do a couple of voyages, you start to accrue more and more options back in London to the point where London can easily take up a, a good chunk of playtime just navigating through the city streets. Uh, fun fact, this game actually, uh, this setting started as a browser game that's still going on. Uh, <laughs> there is a piece, there's a quest line so difficult in that browser game that if you complete it, uh, the final stage of it is uh, the developers pay to fly you out to their headquarters where they explain the final part in person and make you sign a non-disclosure agreement. It's kind of insane. I believe like three people have actually completed of all the people who played it. All right, let's go to the Admiral. And submit port reports. I fucking love port reports. Hunter's Keep. Yeah, we've already read that. Boop. Uh, Shepherd Isles. Submit as fact or separate Shepherd Isles. Submit as unsubstantiated hearsay. Uh, we'll go with the hearsay. I agree. It does sound implausible. So many of the stories from that place do. Still, there is a little gold of truth in the mud of rumor from time to time. Your payment, Captain. Uh, if you submit it as fact, it you have to like bullshit your way through it, but you do get more stuff. All right. Nuncio. Ah, uh, yes, the place that lures away po- Yeah, the place that lures away postmen. One hears no end of complaints from the postal service. All right. Uh, station three. Excuse me. Just let me call a colleague in. This is my colleague, Mr. Villian, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villian, this good captain- This good captain's report is here. If you would care to- Yes, the fire is already lit. Let me. There we go. Now only ashes remain. And it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. OK, uh, so station three, you can only submit one report, report for ever. Uh, they, they don't they don't want you to visit there. All right, Abbey Rock, we categorize it as a military installation, you know, although that has occasion although that has occasioned some vigorous debate god my eyes are falling asleep on me and i just got started Whee! Egmo, i'm not certain i heard you correctly are you quite certain this is the report you wish to sub wish to make so, so be it holothyrene the king with a hundred hearts what a useful fellow without his exports i'd be delivering my own coal Demis Island, you've been to Demis Gate? Yeah, there's nothing interesting about there. Okay, uh, that's all I need from the Admiralty here. Okay, deliver the clay men. They're where they wanted to be, or at least where they're supposed to be. One by one, they rise uncomplainingly with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resonates be beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager waits on the dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Coming along now, you. That's a good construct. Okay. Mushroom farmer. <sighs> I can go visit the university, visit the Rose Market, Wolfstag Docks, hire on my crew, put your ship in die dock. A new recruit. Who do I get? Uh, engage an officer, the haunted doctor. Or engage an officer, the genial magician. Please, I must leave this place. I can work my passage. I'm a doctor. Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can... In Perhaps I can do your engines some good. No, haha. <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult credit, isn't it? Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Uh, I already have an engineer, so let's pick up the doctor. Okay. Uh, officers, Doctor War, and there. So I still need a cook and a first officer. All right. So time to get a tattoo. Ooh, 
okay, so how the tattoos work is as you accrue these stories, you can trade them in for different stuff. And the tattoo, you can only get one per game, and it's a plus two to one of your stats. So it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm gonna remain unblemished. Okay, uh, I think, yep, I accidentally uh, chose not to get a tattoo ever. Whoops, oh well, oh well. I don't need plus twos anyway, because those, uh, those things that stick around with you are plus 25s. All right, uh, London, let's see what's London got to offer us. Visit the university, uh, carouse the wolfside docks. Let's see what happens. A good night out. Sea shanties, good companionship, and the warmth of a pub fire. I lost uh, 30 echoes, but I did get recent news, and that's it. I don't really have a reason to visit the university right now. Rose Market, no, no. Hire on more crew. Oh, yeah, I could definitely go with more crew. Uh, if your crew ever drops below 50%, your ship just goes completely to shit. All right. Uh, two crew. Uh, sure, I'll pick up some more crew. Okay. Uh, let's go to dry dock. Put your ship in dry dock. Boop, 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 a doo. Ploy Radis Faber Engineers. Nah, good enough for now. Admiralty Yards. Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. That's fine. Uh, ah, here we go. Visit the animal fuel stores. Uh, you can trade favor for fuel, which I'm going to do. All right. 10 fuel. I, I don't want to leave with any less than 20 until I know where Mount Palmerston is. How many favors do I have left? Uh, six? Yeah. We'll just, we'll, we'll use our favor. Oh, oh God. Ah, shit. I fucked that up. I forgot I had so much shit in my hold. All right. That was a waste of favor. All right, let's go to the shops first. Uh, this game does not have a storage system, so you kind of have to like use it or lose it with your cargo. All righty, so the Wolfstack Exchange. I have no reason to collect Cintillac right now. Wait, you wanted Devil Bone and Curiosities. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I can just sell the Cintillac and the Parabola Linen. And the wine. Because right now we're looking for the Isle of Cats for the main quest line. Oh, the Isle of Cats is fucked up. Oh, it's not a happy place. Okay. We're going to prisoner honey. Oh, speak of the creative human souls for 63 echoes. Yeah, that, that's fair. All right. Um... I'm going to pick up a better gun. So Iron and Misery has good engines. Uh, the Naval Surplus has cheap guns. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Naval Surplus guns. I like the uh, Camus Yards guns, but they are considerably more expensive. Uh, the Damnation is an aft weapon, forward weapon, deck weapon. Uh, the Hell Thrasher. Ooh, I can't afford it, but just barely. So we're not doing that. Uh, Bandersatch, uh, Avid Suppressor, Devour Engine Emissions, Ensuring Your Engine Never Explodes at Full Power. Ooh, that's neat. Okay. Fuck, I can't afford the, the good gun. I have to go with one of your shitty guns. Okay. Torpedo gun, that's a forward deck weapon. The Cortilage and Harsage Denunciation. Don't do it again. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Gimme. Okay, and hold, put my new gun on, boop. So I've got something for the auxiliary or the bridge, oh well. All right, spent 10 minutes fucking around in London. Yeah, that sounds about right. Do, 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 sell that piece of shit. All right, oh, uh, journal, hold. Okay, just fuel and supplies. All right, shops. Get that up to 20. Get that to 15. Flares you can fire off in battle and it increases your targeting solution so you would get to fire your guns better. But they are consumables and I think they take up cargo space so I've never found a good use for them. 
Foxfire Candles are one of those things where it's like, oh, hey, do you have this during a challenge? Cool, you get to skip the challenge. Uh, I still have a lot more room, so I'm gonna pick up some more fuel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's look at the chart. That's the Gazetteer. Oop, okay. So we went pretty far out last time. Uh, Mount Palmerston. Okay, Avid Horizon is always here. So Mount Palmerston would be around here or around here. Oh, God. Actually, over here isn't bad because that means it's a nice far out place to get fuel. Uh, but we're looking for... We're looking for the Isle of Cats. And if memory serves, the Isle of Cats will be around here. So south we go. Oh, the world sucks right now and doesn't make any sense. So I'd rather pretend to be in a world that sucks, but makes some degree of sense. <sighs> One of the things I really dig about this game is it has these long moments kind of to yourself. Like when going out like this, when just kind of having this time to yourself out on the ocean where it's just nothing but you and the waves. It really kind of gives me the sense of why so many people throughout history have decided just like, you know what? You know what? The life I'm living right now? Fuck this life. I'm gonna go out to the ocean. I don't know what's out there, but I'd rather have it than what I'm dealing with here. And it's like, you know what? You know what? Random person I just made up from past? I feel you. I feel you. I get where you're coming from. I have no idea what that place is, and we can never go there. Because it's on land, and this game isn't about land. This game is about boats. Boats don't go on land. People have tried it in the past, didn't work out too well. Okay. Oh, right. This place. This is one of those locations that, like, I keep forgetting exist. The canal. It's one of the weirder locations in this game just because of how fucking banal and mundane it is. Like, it makes perfect goddamn sense, and that w in this setting, it's like, what? That's so weird. It's so normal and British. And not like the absurdest British that everywhere else is. It's like, this is what a sensible society would do in this fanciful world. Yeah, um... So the canal is how you get from the surface to the undersea. It's like this giant hatchback trail of just a waterway. Okay. Here, the dark waters run down from the surface from a brighter sea. The canal ascends through the locks and gates and shadow turns to the sunlight of the surface. Uh, you can actually go up to the surface. It's surprisingly dangerous to do it on account of the fact that uh, if you're born under underground, you have a really weird reaction to sunlight. Not so much a, a physical allergy, but almost a mental and spiritual allergy. Uh, but if your stats are good enough, you can just like fuck around on the surface, flying the trade in the Mediterranean and just make a fuck ton of money. It's kind of funny. Um, you do have to bring a crap ton of fuel and supplies. Uh, I will listen for surface gossip. The card game ends badly when one of the surface sailor knifes another f for the usual reasons. The other players scrabble for their coins that spill from her pockets. Do you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook? Curious markings, dates, time, code names, spies work? I have a move in the great game. This is the easiest place to get moves. All right, compile a port report. Many ships pass this way, but perhaps you'll pick up something they missed. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe and all the undersea, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Yeah, so in this setting, even though London fell down, um. I think there's seven cities in total that have fallen underground. Uh, the rest of the cities are like the rest of the countries are still there. It's like still the, the late 1800s. 
So, like, the rest of Britain's up there. Just London that fell underground and got weird. Okay, shops. You can buy fuel and supplies at a jacked up rate. Don't need to do that. So that's all we needed here. Yeah, all the places along the, the shore are always locked in. They, they never move. So it's kind of this... This sense of stability in this otherwise ever-changing, fucked-up setting. There's a weird, almost meditative sense to going out in these dark oceans. Like, there's this... This sense of dread, this sense of terror, but also this placidness. Like... When you first start venturing out into the deep, you get the feeling anything could be out there, and that's terrifying. But then once you get used to it, once you know what's up, once you know what is dangerous and what is not, and what is and is not out there, there's this odd serenity. Punctuated by moments of panic and extreme dread, but a lot of serenity. Now, I just have to be careful, because we're going to hell, and sometimes there are demon boats nearby that like to shoot at me for funsies. Uh, oh, unfinished. I forgot that you could find unfinished all the way out here. Because they're from Polythyrium. Oh, funny, we were just talking about chaos, and here's the Iron Republic. Hell's client state. Be wary. Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. The Iron Republic factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps on the rail, curls there like a cat. The city is a reflection of the glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens here have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic, freedom from all laws, even those of nature. This place is fucked up. <coughs> Excuse me. Allow your Zaylers time ashore. Do they need shore leave this badly? No, they don't. Market of Hungers, the Parliament of Flies. The Market of Hungers with its spires and sigils. It is a, is it a parody of the bazaar? Today, flies fill the arcade, buzz buzz. So one of the gimmicks of this place is every time you visit, the shops change. So you never know what you're gonna get coming here. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to go, uh, no more than four. Okay, you do have a limited number of actions you can take in here. All right, uh, I gained a terror, we, oui. and now the shops are open. I can buy, I can sell Scintillac and romantic literature. Uh, I can buy and, s no, I can just buy judgment eggs. It lets you sell it, but you don't get anything for it. Uh, Judgment eggs are required for uh, a number of quest lines. Oh yeah, the, the shopkeeper is in fact a maggot. I can get parabola lemon, linen, I can say that word. I can get a dread surmise. Ooh, I don't want it though. And fuel, dirt cheap. Oh my god, oh, that's even cheaper than Mount Palmerston. Yeah, fill me up on fuel, fuck it. Yeah, cheap fuel, love it. Okay. Can't guarantee that the fuel will be cheap here. All right, no, I'm not doing submarine stuff. Not yet. Uh, compile a port report. Fund a tittering artificer's project. Don't have the stuff for that. Sell the memento mori to a purchaser in the Iron Republic. The Iron Republic has no government, no representatives, but has plenty of citizens eager to purchase an engine of destruction. Uh, I will gain a captivating, a captivating treasure, a mirror catch box, a bowl of zoop, and 13 devil bone dice, and seven secrets. Seems like a fair trade. Uh, captivating treasures are the most valuable individual item in the game. Uh, they're relatively difficult to farm because you have to essentially kill a mountain to farm them. It's doable, but without the best stuff, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And mirror catch box is a very expensive item that's used to complete some very significant quest lines. Uh, they're also hard to come by because they're technically illegal. That's how you catch sunlight. 
and that's very dangerous. Uh, okay, compile a port report. It won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie... The streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the ink well. Do it. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. This is a hatred of fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you are awash with the nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Ooh, I got a tale of terror and a memory of distant shores. Hot shit. Oh, and... <clears throat> Oh, I permanently gained a heart. That's... I forgot that can happen. Uh, yeah, compiling port reports here is kind of dangerous because you can gain or lose stats doing it. It's kind of insane. Uh, but a new shop opened. Wait, did it? Uh, Market of Hunger is the Cavalry Doctrine. Already filled with, a cruci with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. Uh... I gained a terror. What's here? I can sell supplies. Sell Zoop for a lot. Oh, the House of Milk. Coffee and fuel drips from dragon teats. I've never actually read the description of this place before. I, I, I think, I think that's our cue to go. You can get fuel for your ship from the nipples of crucified dragons. Uh, 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 okay. I I think we're gonna leave the Republic of Irons to its own devices. I, I have such mixed feelings about that because I'm all aboard for crucifying dragons, but. Getting fuel from their tits? That just seems fucked up. Like, regardless of my feelings toward dragons, I can guarantee all of you I will not power any of my ships by anything that comes out of a dragon's teat. Like, that might be a hot take, but that that's a firm stance. I'm not going to compromise on that. Okay. Um, so... What I'm doing right now could be incredibly... Yep, yep, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Turning my light off. That thing can fuck me up. Oh, don't look at me. That thing is dangerous. That is a glorious dreadnought. That is one of the highest tier ships in the game. Oh, motherfucker, there's two of them. Don't look at me. Uh, there is no safe approach to one of those things because they have guns in every fucking direction. Uh, we're gonna clench our buttholes, hope they don't look at us, because there's two of them. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, that the one to the south is the one that noticed me. Haha, -ha, we are not fighting those. Oh. If the north and the south one noticed me at the same time and caught me in a pincer there, they could have... They might have shredded my entire hull, like, in a couple of volleys. Ooh, my sphincter is clenched. All right. Uh, so we're going to swing by the Grand Geode. I've never actually seen two of them spawn at the same time. That's kind of ridiculous. All right. The Grand Geode, a distant song like a mirage. The Grand Geode, a naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems. Curiously amended. Efficient, a bright-eyed woman and a... Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They're singing, 
Hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been def defaced with orange paint. You can still make out under the you can still make out the original inscription, Station Five Adjunct. Ugh. I'm getting burpy. Uh, sell the memento more to the servants of the Dawn Machine. Now this looks very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Get an element of jaw. An, bleh, an element of dawn. A judgment's egg. One thousand echoes, and the gratitude of the machine. Ooh. Uh, sure, we're asked to speak to somebody with authority. What is this place? The Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow with an immaculate Navy uniform. His office is e his, yeah, his office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal cliff. It must be well lit as any study in the neath. Oh, my eyes are blurring up. He deflects questions about the purpose of his installation. Classified, you know. But smilingly offers you tea, biscuits, and mini minero bleh, mineralogical anecdotes. Haha, <laughs> I can say that word. The biscuits are good. But the anecdotes rather bland. The an bleh, I'm just tripping over all my words tonight. I apologize. The biscuits are good, but the anecdotes rather blend one into the next. You find yourself nodding and then jerk awake sudden. Yeah, suddenly jerk awake. Bah, 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 bah. The Commodore is smiling. Your cup is empty. You feel, well, very well. A little euphoric, even. Come back soon, he says softly. Uh, I now have a sunstroke. The light, it's pretty. And I gain a memory of a distant shores. I'm really just getting a lot of these. Oh, I lost all the terror. I got the Iron Republic. Cool. Purchase an element of dawn. And... Engage an officer, the Car yeah, the Carnelian Exile. A dark spectacled woman marches up to you in some haste. Captain, take me with you. I am no longer welcome here, and I will show you where we need to go. Yeah, sure, welcome aboard. Here I am, a ship, I suppose. Uh, here I am, a ship, I suppose, is both always here and never there. Because there becomes here, okay, sure. I got a first officer, that's all that matters. Uh, and a port report. Oop. The Marines are watching. Okay. Uh, you... So, officers, I didn't explain before, give you, uh... Stats. And having a doctor aboard is a dose stat. Alright. Uh, any shops here? Nope. Okay, now... Uh, I want to go see it. I want to see the sun machine, but there's two of those fuckers here. I've never seen two of them together. That's ridiculous. Did they fucking up the spawn rate or something when I wasn't looking? Well, anyway. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off the sea we go. With a tentacle here to see monster there. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh Jesus, I forgot how close this other place is. Hey, hey, do y'all like 1920 depi depictions of Africa? <laughs> oh, this place is fucked. This place is weird. Oh, the one thing I need to be careful about is if there are fucking birds around. Oh, wow, that, that's some chugging. That's some chugging right there. Oh, what is my frame rate doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, it's still 30. Okay. Wee. Yeah, there, there are two maelstroms here. A lot of it. Whatever. Uh, oh, they're the fucking birds! Oh, they're the fucking worst, I swear to Christ. I better just be one swarm of them. Or flock, or whatever. Yeah, go away. Go away! Alright. 
Port Carnelian, Fallen London's sole imperial possession. Treasure it. Uh, the old sapphire processing plant? It sits on an inlet at the port's edge, or the port itself. Let's, you know, I don't remember the processing plant. Uh, oh, have your ship converted for submarine travel. The, philan the philanthropist greets you warmly. I'm oh my god. Oh, my brain is <laughs> fucked. I couldn't remember how to pronounce philanthropist. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm having an existential crisis. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I want to say crisis and meltdown together. And I said Christ down. It's like some biblical WWE event. Oh my god. Okay, I'm better now. The philanthropist greets you with, greets you warmly with sherry. Your money's no good here. I owe your predecessor a great debt. Ooh, sure. A few days work, more sherry, and the adjustments are complete. Your vessel's new pipework gleams. Beneath the water, you can just make out the graceful curve of her retractive shell hull. Okay, cool. Uh, I can now press T to transform into a submarine, which is a little busted because you can use that to get the fuck out of danger. Like above or below C, if something decides to fuck with you, you can just press T and say nope. And I think you're invincible during transformation. London's first under Z colony sweats under a blanket of southern heat. To the right of the dock, the sapphire mines yawn. To the left, the governor's house stands, prim as an Elderwick mansion. Behind lies the fungal jungle, ghosts in white and violet. Uh, assist a specialized collector. A dapper gentleman lounges by the foot of flowers, by a shoot of flowers, admiring butterflies with a predatory gleam in his eyes. Would you help him find the quarry of a lifetime? Uh, no, fuck that guy. Can visit the tea shop. Uh, can visit the Hearts Cross House. Talk to a tiger in the blue bazaar. Call at a room above a bookshop. Pan for sapphires in the fungal jungle. Influence affairs in the port. Or insinuate an agent into Port Carnelian. Ooh. Yeah, so you can, like leave undisclosed agents in places and create like a spy network. I'm not going to do that. I want to talk to a tiger. The Carnelian's coasts padding. Uh, oh, OK, I see what that sentence is trying to do. The Carnelian coasts padding natives are eloquent, placid and acro acrobic. Acrobic. I've Fuck, this game is making me feel uneducated. I don't know what that word means. OK. Triple abroad. The Blue Bazaar is Port Carnelian's great indoor market. Arched, lofty, plush with patent with patterned carpets where the vendors display their wares. Most of all, a wash with gossip. The tiger is well informed. A black hulled conite trireme prowls the coast late prowled the coast last night. A rifle shot from shore. Shipments from the sapphire mines have slowed. The governor's aid is left-handed on Tuesday and right-handed on Wednesday. Oh, that's not ominous at all. That's fine. No, he just does that. Uh, my terror is fine despite almost dying. Pan for sapphires. Is there anything else I can do? No, I'll just do it. A glimmer of truth. Braving the jungle's violet short. <laughs> Braving the jungle's violet spore drifts, you find a narrow stream. You kneel among the red carp, red capped agrics that spot the banks. It doesn't heave with sapphires as the store is promised, but an afternoon's panning yields a pocket full of glittering shards. Nice. Nice. I got money and not dead. I'm happy with that. All right. Shops. Buy supplies at a decent price. So when you're going for riches as your victory, you come here, you load up with sapphires 
and then you sail to the Shalamot, which is over somewhere to the far east, and you sell them for massive, massive profits, and you just repeat that. And when you get the best engine, even in the big-ass fucking ships, you're just untouchable. Like, you have to bust ass to get that best engine, but if you get it, you're you're more or less invincible. Okay. Oh, don't notice me, birds. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Because despite being pretty, you're also shitty, and you're one of the harder enemies in the game. Come on, don't, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me, birds. Don't fuck with me. Fuck off, birds. Fuck off, birds. I want to explore the coastline some more. <laughs> Fucking birds. Oh, stop. The other thing is the swarm enemies in this game, I have a really hard time telling their pathing because they're just all over the fucking map. And I think those birds are getting closer. Okay, no, they're, they're, they're leaving me alone. Cool. <clears throat> so the other thing about the, the shoreline here, this is full of landmarks. So when you're just starting out, it's a great place to just build up a crap ton of, uh, what are they called, fragments? It's basically experience points. All right, how far out am I? Ooh, the crying heights. Oh, fucking hell, more birds. Oh, and a wax storm, son of a bitch. Where am I? We'll just deal with it. So there's a couple of detrimental uh, weather patterns, I guess. Oh my God, more fucking birds that slow your ship down. Uh, to the south, you get wax storms. To the north, you get snowstorms. Uh, yeah, the killing wax wind blows from the south. Engines labor, sailors cry out and fall. Okay, cool. Just skirted the edge of that storm. And into a fucking lagoon. I'm good at this game. Fuck, I'm gonna have to deal with those birds one way or the other. All right. Battle station, so I'm gonna fuck up some birds. Oi, oh, birds, get fucked. Yeah, you and me, birds. Slowest fucking fight ever. Let's go. Oh, I forgot they had 400 fucking health. Oh, that's a lot of health. Get fucked. Fuck you, birds. Ah, god damn it. Fuck off. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, the Memento Mori is fucking these birds up. Get fucked. Okay. Oh, they took like a quarter of my health. Fucking hell. All right, you've destroyed the Blue Prophets. A mortal battle against parrots. That's the Elder Continent for you. Recover feathers from the Prophets. They'll sell in London and in Khan's heart. Record their cries. The Prophets speak the names of those about to die. And truth... Most of the sounds they make are more squawk than word. But perhaps you can glean something from the dying birds if you listen carefully. Ah, fuck the future. Give me feathers. Uh, I now have 52 royal blue feathers. Fuck yeah. <sighs> Feels like my computer's chugging. I mean, my computer's chugging, my boat's chugging. I can't tell. Oh, God. So... Against sea beasts, the best strategy is to just go full reverse and, like, fire at them as they come closer. But, uh, when you're calling wind like this or snowstorms, that's not a very good option, mostly because you move... This is full speed. You, you can't move at full speed. You can only move at half speed. And it sucks. 
and in the north you have lifebergs coming at you, and uh, that also sucks. So all in all, uh, you want to avoid storms best you can. Not always an option, but you want to do it when you can. And cool, fog. Increase my terror, slow my guns. Awesome. All right, but I made it to Port Adam. This is Port Adam, right? Yeah, it's Port Adam. Apps meet. Oh, this place is weird. Adam's Way. On a bed of on a bed of monumental ruins, warehouses and way stations of shroom timber rise. All right, Adam's Way. All ships that approach Adam's Way are intercepted by the Gracious, the Presbyter's splendid headdressed coast guards. Splendidly headdressed coast guards. I married that wrong. I'm good at words. A quaint but inviolable tradition governs entry. You must tell them one of three stories. In return, you'll be permitted to spend a single day in the port. A tale of a city recently fallen, an unfinished tale, or a tale of hell. Uh, so you either bring news from London, you have an unread log, or a port report from Port uh, Mount Palmerston, which is where demons live. Why are foreigners only allowed to spend a single day in Adam's Way? For your own protection, one of them explains kindly. Well, that's nice. The soil of the Elder Continent is dangerous for incomers, they claim. Those who linger can contract unfortunate con conditions, hysteria, rapture, amniescence, and the rumors that Presbyter... Presbyter... <laughs> Presbyterian law offers no protection to foreigners after dark. Errant nonsense. Yeah, I'll give you my news from London. A new day. Is their interest strategic? Or do they just enjoy hearing about London's, min London's miseries? Regardless, they permit you to dock. Your day has just begun. In the town square, a yellow-robed priestess plants a seed in a bed of black soil. No sooner has she planted it down, patted down the soil, that a tiny shoot pokes forth. By mid-morning, it will be a sapling. By lunchtime, a budding tree. By evening's end, it will be wither and fall. You must, you must make it back to your ship before then. <laughs> the tree of a single day is a hopeful sapling, green and budding. Okay. Uh... Do, 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 do. To the south, the Elder Continent and the 72 Cornucopia Kingdoms of the Presbyrate. Are the stories true? Rivers of honey? Castles of ivory? Who can say? Foreigners, that's you, are forbidden from the interior. The closest most get is Adam's Way. A shouting, fest, shouting feasting, thriving, thieving. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, I can't read. A shouting, feasting, thieving riot of a port. All right. Visit an expedition of Presbyterian curiosities. Assist in an amniocent ho hospital. Listen to a storyteller. Uh, an avalanche broker has a commission. Sit by the tree of a single day and let the hours pass. Oh, the Presbyterian adventurous. A tall woman in salt crack. A tall woman in a salt caked Royal Navy uniform is methodically shout. A tall woman in a salt caked Royal Navy uniform is methodically shooting giant land snails off a chunk of fallen statue. Hey, look at that! I can read lines. Oh my god! All right, she lines up another shot. Afternoon, Captain. Looking for a gunnery officer? I'd like to help you blow up monsters if you have me. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Welcome aboard. Oh, hello, Captain. Is this one your? Is this one of yours? I did not. Okay. Oh, hello, Captain. Is this one of yours? I had to knock her around a bit. She didn't like taking orders from foreigners. 
Still, we're good friends now. The adventurers claps. The black-eyed sailor on the back. Oddly enough, they do seem to be friends now. Look at that. That's what I love about the writing of this game is it, it implies more than it states, which I, I really dig that. I find that's a very clever way of just like letting your imagination fill in the blanks for so much. Uh, listen to a storyteller. Uh, I'm going to go to the hospital. Sounds apart from the port. On a lonely Z-side bluff. You climb a dusty slope. All right. Uh, root out a reckless poet. The seller has discovered scraps of love poetry on the pantry floor. The abbot wants the perpetrator found before they dangerously inflame the inmates' passions. Uh, I can assist the cloister. When the monks catalog the patron's dispositions, particularities, and progresses. Uh, or I can carry chapel. Uh, I can carry water in the chapel of pyres. Seventy-nine percent. Uh, 97%, 68%, I think I know which way I'm going. Boop. All right. Ooh, shit, I got supplies. Taxonomy. They c you conduct interviews, record observations, track the simmering, inexorable advancement of a dozen cases of the disease. The more phlegmatic patients endure better than the melancholy and the sanguine. The abbot, comm the abbot commends your attention to detail. The monks are not wealthy, but they pay for your assistance with barrels of fresh well water, gold crusted bread, and a small, precious box of lemons. Yay! I get to avoid scurvy! Uh. Yeah, I'll do that again. Yes! More avoiding of scurvy! Alright, that, that's enough here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, I got to do one more thing here. I'm gonna listen to a storyteller. Boop. Uh, ignoring the gaudy entertaineries. Intent. Okay. My eye hurts. That's the excuse I'm going with, not the fact that I'm just fucking illiterate. Ignore the gaudy entertaineries intended to defund visitors. Pass the street hawkers. They will only tell you what you want to hear. Shun the tavern gossip, most of which is fabricated by the Mythendrate office, the Presbyter's propagandist, the buzzing of bees. Climb the stairs cut into the hill. Sit at the foot of the bee capstone columns. They will shield you from the southern, mo southern mountain heat. Be quiet. Listen. Old stale... Old storytellers share the shadow. The Prester is on the verge of declawing the dawn machine of declaring the dawn machine a blasphemy. London's bureaucracy is riddled with the children of the thief of faces. An expedition of foreigners recently put to shore to the west, then went south in search of the garden. They were discovered and Given the, given to the River of Red. Yeah, so the Garden of Eden is a place that exists in this setting, and it's to the south. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to visit an expedition, sure. Uh, hey, grant your sh crew shore leave. Mm, no. Counting on curiosities. Uh, sure. Sound outside the tent reads, explore the natural and unnatural wonders of the Elder Continent. An impossibility catches your eye. Ooh. What do I see? Nourished. Here in the glass case, a rose grows from a stone. The stone is real. The rose is real. What nourishes it? The sober showman peers over your shoulder. It was planted in a furlong from the mountain and basks for a summer in its light. What need has it for water now or air? Okay, time to leave. Return to your ship. Okay. Uh, can I buy anything here? I can sell a shrine to stone. Uh, fuel and supply. Fuel is not that expensive here. So, I'll grab some more fuel. All right. Mm. 
we are going to go poke our head down here real quick. And then we're going to fuck off. How far am I? Oh, I could go visit King Eater's castle. That's a really stupid idea. Let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to sail south along the Red River because I'm fucking crazy. So uh, there are four cardinal directions in this game. North, south, east, and west. And there's a place where you can sail off the map. Oh, Dark Griffin Straits. Oh, I forgot the name of this place. That name is awesome. Yeah. So you can sail off the map in this game. That's the buzzing of bees you're hearing. Uh, you can do it. It is not recommended to do it right off the bat. Because each one of them is an incredibly dangerous challenge. Uh, especially to the north and to the east, where one of the, the random encounters in that, uh, regardless of your stats, is you just fucking die. That's always fun. Uh... In order to get the hardest ending in this game, you need to hit all four directions. Oh my god. The sail east ending is so ridiculous. You have to sail in all four cardinal directions, which is hard in of itself. You have to gather a bunch of the rarest items in the entire game. Uh, you basically have to delete your save as part of it because you're sacrificing not only your children, but your future. Uh, and even then... <laughs> Like, the most fucked up part is between deleting your save, essentially, and the actual ending, there are plenty of chances for you to die, so it's also the most risky. <laughs> Just reset your progress to square one. Oh my god, that ending is absurd. Okay. Bat! Where am I going? Hmm... There's an island within the Z-Bat's range. Oh, there are no islands. Uh, there are no islands. Find me an island, motherfucker. Uh, there are no islands. Thank you. Uh, oh, wow, that was a very long stretch of fucking nothing. There are no islands. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, hey! Oh, hi! Oh, that's the thing. Yelp. Hello, ocean eyeball. 